hundreds of trees covering the area equivalent to a football field are chopped down somewhere on the globe every second. But this tree was carefully selected from thousands to be harvested without damaging the forest. It's part of an area of rainforest which stretches for more than 200 square kilometers. We only use our own forests as the source of our wood. In that way, we guarantee the traceability of our product and we offer our clients 100% responsibly sourced wood. Peru is home to the second largest chunk of the Amazon rainforest after Brazil. And like its larger neighbor, Peru's vast tracts of forest continue to be cleared for globally traded commodities like timber, palm oil and gold. And it's gold fever which has laid waste to huge swathes of Madre de Dios, Peru's southernmost Amazon region. Only from the air can you take in the full scale of the destruction caused by illegal mining. It's an open wound in this, the most biodiverse corner of Peru's rainforest. And the vast majority of the damage has taken place in the last eight years. Over three decades, nearly 100 square kilometers of forest have been lost here. But scientists who accompanied CGTN on this flight say there are solutions. There's still a lot of green, and the green is hope. That's what science is for, to look for solutions. As part of the reforestation experiment, scientists are trying out tree species which can survive in the sand left behind by mining. They're also using biochar compost made from locally grown Brazil nut shells to block the absorption of mercury and to regenerate the topsoil. Meanwhile, there are still provinces untouched by mining, such as Tawamanu at the intersection of Peru, Bolivia and Brazil. The province is a model for sustainable forestry and acts as a carbon sink, a natural environment that absorbs carbon dioxide and helps to combat global warming. Families like the Cardosos, who farmed here for generations, understand climate change because they feel it. We've been feeling the effects of climate change for 10 years now. When you go out to work, by 10 or 11 in the morning, the sun is too strong. Your head hurts, your skin burns. You can't work anymore. You have to find shade. Scientific studies indicate temperatures in the Amazon region could rise by 2 to 3 degrees Celsius by 2050. The environmental and scientific community say taking care of forests, land and food is one third of the solution to capping temperature rises. But time is short. Peru lost more than 140,000 hectares of forest in 2017. We, we know that we are losing uh, forest every day, uh, the deforestation rate in Peru is still high. So examples as Madre Acre uh, can be replicated uh, in other parts of Peru. The stakes in this biodiverse Amazon region are high. But faced with some of Peru's biggest environmental challenges, scientists and citizens are finding innovative solutions. Dan Collins, CGTN, Madre de Dios, Peru.